Hey guys, I'm going to show a technique I like from the butterfly guard. There's two ways basically of playing butterfly guard. Either from the cocoon with overhook and neck control, or you can do your sweeps and slide down the arms and go either way with the typical sweep. Or with double underhooks. Double underhooks, your two moves to go to are the backbreaker, and then the sweep if he manages to defend, or the uh, rocking chair sweep. Okay, so from here what I do is I just find the sweet spot in his back and extend my legs, keep stretching him out, and it extends the spine and it hurts like a son of a bee. Okay, one more time. In here, nice and tight. I'm going to curl this in so the side of my hand goes in his spine. I'm going to pull it in, okay, like I'm doing a chest compression, like I'm giving someone the hemlock uh, maneuver. Okay, here, extend the butterflies, and I kind of use my shoulder to give him that little extra arch. If, if he relaxes or he's a really big, strong guy, Occasionally he'll slide back and straighten his legs and then you just do your sweep to the side. Okay, so try out the back breaker. If he manages to defend, if you can't quite tap him and he's defending here, usually his legs kind of come together a little bit and then you can hit a sweep and go in the mount. Alright, so try out the back breaker a little bit. Don't do it against smaller opponents in training. But when you're going with a uh, you know, big strong guy and use it in MMA, you can put it in your repertoire and it opens things up. And I tap quite a few people with it, it really surprises me.